Hi, there is an ancient story about a person who has been asked by their grandchild, grandmother, how have you become so loving and wise? And grandmother says, well, inside of me, there are two wolves, the wolf of love and the wolf of hate. And they have been competing with each other since ever. And the boy asks her, and who wins? And she says, the one I feed on a daily basis. So the story shows that we have these two sides, love and hate, and they're both innate. But the question is, what do we do with it and which one we feed? This also exists in our world. In fact, there is a conflict between the increasing interconnectedness of our world and the individual lifestyle that we lead. And this conflict is, being, is increasing the vulnerability of our planet and it's manifesting itself increasingly through the current crisis of climate and health. So there is the need for a change in our society towards a more compassionate culture. Now, the good news about it is since we already have it inside of us, we can learn how to find it again and how to cultivate it, to feed it. And the other good news is that it's actually good for us to be compassionate, also on an individual level. The Dalai Lama says, the wisest form of selfishness is compassion. When we act out in compassion, it comes back like a boomerang. When we harm someone, it also comes back as a boomerang. It will harm us equally. And research also shows that compassionate people and altruistic people are happier than others because they have a sense of purpose and it gives them joy. So how to cultivate this? How to feed our wolf of love, basically? Well, first of all, it's important that we do this towards ourselves, that we in fact use the two wings of the great bird of mindfulness. One is awareness and one is compassion. Using skills of self-awareness and self-regulation, which you learn through mindfulness, and also moving towards more activism, like uh, Paul Gilbert says, and bring compassion to it. So on a concrete level, this might mean that you check in with yourself, how you talk to yourself. Do I talk in a kind way or in a harsh way to myself? Do I put myself down or do I motivate myself? Um, also, which tone do I use to myself? And once you are aware, there's a possibility to move from reaction to response and to shift towards a kinder and more compassionate way of being with yourself. And then second, it's the way how we interact with the world, with other humans and other species on this planet. And also here, we can start by becoming aware. How, how do I interact with others? And can I maybe look for similarities with other humans? I personally like to use the phrase, just like me, this other person wants to be happy. Just like me, this other person or group of persons want their children to be happy and safe. Grow a old, have pain, carry their own package and eventually die. So there's an element of shared humanity which unites us and which can help us to move from I and us versus them to something of we and to widen our circle. And there's also a meditation that you can practice, the compassion meditation, where you envisage different people, people that are close to you, a person that is maybe neutral to you and then someone you're having difficulties with. And finally, the whole world and even universe, if you like, and cultivate feelings of warmth and kindness and compassion towards them. 
we also need to move this into a societal discourse. It should be taught in schools and in companies. And in fact, we have noticed that in companies, there's already a small shift in some companies who are bringing mindfulness and compassion to the workplace, who book courses with us, because they have noticed that a more human working environment creates greater respect and trust and increases well being and ultimately then also performance. In schools, we should not only focus on individualistic values and on performance, but also on social values, such as compassion. And it should be brought in the political discourse and become mainstreamed in politics, in the media, um, so that it becomes more, comes more into the awareness and there should be more success stories about how compassion is being brought into the world rather than feeding feelings like anxiety and separation. I believe that compassion is the only way to go forward, to heal our world and to create oneness and togetherness. It's up to us each day, moment by moment to decide which wolf we feed. <laughs>